we too soon capture Albarawi. From, Molly Kailit, Abuja. The Nigerian army has said that the main leader of the Boharam terrorists group, Abubakar Shekau, is no longer a threat to the counter-insurgency operations. This the army attributes to his health condition. The army, while describing the terrorist leader as a spent horse, waiting for his Waterloo, also said the sect's factional leader, Abu Musabi al-Barawi, who has been deceiving and recruiting gullible and misguided youths into his fold, will soon be captured. The army says there is no doubt that the main Boharam terrorists group factional leader, Abubakar Shekau, is in a terrible state of health and not much a threat as he is now a spent horse, waiting for his Waterloo. In a statement by the Theatre Command, Operation Lafaya Dole, obtained, in Abuja, through the Director of Army Public Relations, Brig Gen. Selazman, said it had no doubt that Mamanur Algadi, another factional leader of the terrorist, has been wounded and he is more or less a cripple since 2014 at Mubai, since he was hit by the Nigerian Air Force while on motorcycle. Jen Usman, in the statement said, he, al was wounded along with one Abu Muyoid, an indigene of Somiaka, Kajur state, who was later executed by Abubakar Shekau. The army further disclosed that the incident reduced Nur, a member of the Shura Council of the Terrorists Group, to only teaching in Boharam terrorists' enclave. However, Abu Musabi al Barawi, who has been busy deceiving and recruiting gullible persons, especially misguided youths, into his fold, will soon be captured. We reliably learned that some misguided persons, particularly youths, are getting conscripted into the sect through enticements. They are usually attracted to the sect because of the deceitful and erroneous impression that Abu Musab's al-Barawi brand of jihad and insurgency is refined and genuine. This is far from it. Both factions are terrorists organizations whose activities constitute crimes against humanity. Their nefarious activities run contrary to the religion of Islam. His faction has recruiters all over the country, especially in the northeast. However, their clearing house for such conscripts is at Potiskam, Yob State. Efforts are ongoing to track those involved. In view of the above, the general public should be wary of these unscrupulous elements attempting to recruit more youths into their sect the statement said. Meanwhile, the military also said it has uncovered the new tricks adopted by the terrorists to evade its air onslaught against them. The statement to this effect says, the Boharam terrorists' tricks of evading air raids have been unraveled by the theater command of Operation Lafaya Dole, combating insurgency in the northeast of Egeria. The Boharam terrorists group have always perfected survival tricks to continue their nefarious activities through enticement, deceit, concealment and outright propaganda. These were decoded through credible intelligence which became imperative for the public to be aware of it. The insurgents deployed special roofing techniques in order to avoid air detection and bombardment from the Nigerian Air Force, NAF.